Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Singapore. Ying and I just took the MRT to Serangoon Station and we are on our way to Chomp Chomp Food Center, which is a well-known hawker center for barbecue seafood, as well as a number of other famous stalls. We're on our way there now and I am hungry. I looked at the map and from Serangun Station, it's a little bit of a distance to get to the Chomp Chomp Food Center. And I think you could take a bus from that station to get there directly. But since we have a little bit of time, it's not too late yet. I think we're just gonna walk it. We have been walking for probably 10 or 15 minutes. I think we're about halfway there, but the walk is really nice. It is a very residential area. So we passed a lot of condos, very green and very clean. We just made it to Chomp Chomp Food Center and that took about 30 minutes to walk here, but it was a really pleasant walk and we passed by some really impressive houses along the way, but it's time to eat. Big, let's go big size. It's not a big hawker center, but it is a glorious hawker center. There are so many marvelous looking stalls to choose from. And when I asked all of you where to eat in Singapore, I think this was maybe the number one recommended place. So a big thank you to all of you for recommending uh, this hawker center. One of the ultimate things to eat here at Chomp Chomp Food Center is barbecue stingray. And there are a couple of places to choose from. I cho chose stall number one, which is right at the entrance. And the owners there are really, really nice and friendly and the chefs, they take a banana leaf and they add some sambal and also the stingray. And then they sort of wrap the banana leaf over the fish and then they cover it with a cover. And so it's sort of like bakes at the same time as it's being grilled. So it's baked in that chili sauce. And then after a process, he said it takes about 10 minutes to grill. Then they add a handful of onions on top and then they serve it with uh, calamansi and also some sauce, which I think is a shrimp based sauce. I gotta first taste it with nothing first. Just that, <gasps> oh, that just completely broke apart like chicken. Oh, look at the, look at the stringy flakiness of that. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of mix in with all of that sambal for my first bite, get some onions on there. Oh yeah, that is exactly what I was looking for. Oh wow, that stingray, it's almost like chicken breast, except like even more juicy. You can also taste that banana leaf which is sort of embedded into the fish, which is almost a, a little bit of a green, naturally tasting flavor, and kind of a, like a roasted leaf flavor, yeah. And then that sambal, it is a little bit sweet, just a little bit sweet, and it has a roasted flavor to it, and maybe just a tiny bit spicy. I'm gonna take the calamansi and kind of squeeze this over it next. Calamansi is a citrus that sort of tastes like a cross between an orange and a lime. And so I think this will complement it with a little sourness as well. <laughs> it just it just falls apart effortlessly with chopsticks. And I'm going for a dip this time. Oh, that is so good. That will make your, your eyes close in in a dreamy, delicious state. Oh wow, that's awesome. Also at the same stall, we also got some Water Morning Glory with sambal as well. There is a nice little pool of red oil below there and all that chili sauce. I'm gonna add this to my plate of rice. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's awesome as well. You can really taste the shrimp paste in there. And the shrimp paste is almost chunky with little bits of shrimp in there. Really, really good. You can taste a lot of garlic in there. It has a little bit of um, like chili oil, I think. And then the, the actual Water Morning Glory is stir-fried. He stir-fried it on a nice hot heat so it 
um, retains its crispness, its fresh crisp crispness, while just being like slightly cooked. That is my kind of a vegetable dish. They also have a number of stalls selling chicken wings, which are really good smelling as well. And I chose a lady who is a really friendly lady. She was making these uh, chicken wings. She was smiled at me the whole time. Beautiful chicken wings. Served also with a very good looking orange chili sauce. I'm gonna grab one of the, the drum, the wing drumsticks. Oh yeah, that's awesome too. Mm. It's not really sweet at all, but you can taste almost a burnt, roasted soy sauce flavor to them. Oh yeah, that tastes marvelous. And I'm gonna see if I can slip the rest of the meat off in one bite. Mm. Oh yeah, the sauce is a little bit spicy and a little bit sweet and almost a little bit fruity. It almost tastes like, it almost tastes like pineapple-y. So, yeah, I have no idea if there's pineapple in it or not, but it has kind of that sweet and sour acidity to it, which is good. Okay, and then moving over, this is a plate of Hokkien Mi, which are fried noodles, and it's also uh, very popular to eat here at this market. It was really amazing to see him cooking this these fried noodles. He he adds both the yellow noodles and white rice noodles, and then just artfully fries them in a very hot wok at just the perfect temperature. And he almost kind of like just scratches the noodles with the spatula as opposed to fully stir frying them. So they get kind of well, I'm, I'm thinking that they get kind of scorched at the same time as they're being fried, stir fried. And so here are the noodles. They, you can see bits of egg in it. There are shrimp in here. And again, it's served with a little bit of sambal chili sauce on the side, as well as the calamansi. Mm -hmm. That is kind of a lightly flavored fried noodle. You can taste a little bit of the wok flavor to it, but then it's a little bit salty, and it's more of like a salt saltiness as opposed to a soy sauce saltiness. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great with that, that citrus juice all over it. And then I will take some of that sambal as well. Mix it, mix it in right there. Oh, okay, and I'll go in for a shrimp as well. Oh yeah, I really love it with that calamansi squeezed on there. That gives it like the, the extra dimension of sourness to, to go along with the saltiness of the noodles. Everything on the table is fantastic, but definitely the star of the show is, yeah, just nothing can compare with this barbecue stingray. This is just a wonderful, wonderful thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in for the next piece. Let's see if this piece tastes any different over here. And look at that, <laughs> look at the way that just, that there's like strings of meat. Oh, and stingray, like if you didn't know it was, was stingray, you hardly, would know that it is a uh, fish because it's so it's so unfishy actually. You it barely has any kind of a seafoody flavor. It's it's really like like kind of a stringy chicken, but then it sort of also has a crab texture, a, a crab meat texture to it at the same time. It's just a a wonderful thing. Oh, I think that piece is even juicier. I just finished with dinner here at Chomp Chomp Food Center. That was just a glorious meal. This is a wonderful, wonderful hawker food court center. It's not too big, but it's just the perfect size and so many good things to eat. A quality center and people are really nice here as well. So I would highly recommend this. And I wanna say a big thank you to all of you who recommended Chomp Chomp uh, Food Center. 
That Stingray was unbelievably good, as was everything else. I'm so happy and satisfied right now. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you and I will see you on the next food video. Hello. <laughs>